Hey guys, what is up and welcome to Old RPG Gaming. Now, if you remember, earlier in the week in one of the Yu-Gi-Oh! episodes, I said that I was going to start my collection all over again from scratch and to look forward to basically uh, starting my collection, I was going to do a little video on it. So, that's exactly what we're going to do here today. Now, I don't have a tripod for my camera, so I'm balancing my mobile phone on top of the case of the Yu-Gi-Oh! cards that I ordered professional to the max but anyway I hope this comes out alright so let's take a look at what these cards actually look like under this camera this is the card that I ordered it came today it was definitely the first card I wanted to get back because it was one of my favorites and I managed to find one for a fairly good price in relatively good condition which was the hard part and it is of course the blue eyes white dragon from the starter deck Kaima, the original starter decks. Uh, I had one of these as a kid and my god, I wish I'd saved it. I wish I'd saved it because they're just, they're just awesome. You know, I played with mine and obviously roughed it up and now they're really hard to come by in good condition without paying a lot of money. So the Blue Eyes White Dragon was one of the cards that I wanted. Now, these next three cards, uh, I only ordered one of them, and the other two came as complementary cards, so we might as well chuck them in there anyway. Uh, I haven't got a lot of cards, so everything we've got we might as well include at this point. So the next card that I have is the latest version of Ra, the Winged Dragon of Ra, Immortal Phoenix, and this is perfect condition this is like mint condition um, don't know if it will focus on the camera there we go look how beautiful this card is absolutely beautiful so we're gonna go ahead and open these up right here guys so nice to have things like card sleeves and, and top loaders lying around. It reminds me of when I used to collect all the time. It's awesome. So we can go ahead and stick him in here. And what the aim of this really is just to uh, get back the collection of cards that I had. Uh, I just like Yu-Gi-Oh cards, you know, so I thought why not start collecting them again. Uh, two pretty awesome cards to have in any collection and we've now got them back in our collection we've got the Wind Dragon of Wrath Phoenix mode and we've got the original Blue Eyes White Dragon so let me just crack this open my god these are fiddly fiddly things top loaders so stick that in there like that and he can go with our blue eyes. Awesome. Uh, the two complementary cards that came with this from the seller uh, was this golden border card. I don't know what these are called in terms of rarity, but uh, gimmick puppet dreary dot in like this golden border kind of thing. And rank up quick chaos, uh, rank up magic quick chaos. And it's another pretty awesome card. So we're just going to put those two to one side for a second. And the first thing that we're going to have a look at is this right here. Uh, it's a structure deck, a saga of Blue Eyes White Dragon structure deck. So I have opened it already, but I haven't actually opened the cards inside of it. So if we open this now. I'm just going to go ahead and pull this out. We've got our play, playing zone, the rule book. And this is the best bit. Sealed, brand new, still in its packaging. Oh, look at that, Chris. Blue Eyes White Dragon, starter, well, structure deck, the Blue Eyes, obviously. So we're going to open this up, pull this straight from this nice fresh pack. Put it in a sleeve, put it in a top loader. Keep it nice and safe. Another awesome card to have in that collection. Which art do you like best, guys? Do you like the original? Or do you like the like the newer art? I I kind of prefer the original because that was what I had growing up. But you let me go. You let me know what you guys think. So 
Let's go ahead and open these awesome parts. Oh, look at that refresh. So cool. And we can actually look at what's in the deck as well. So let's go and take a sleeve. Nice baby blue sleeves for our blue white white dragon. Put him in there like that. I'll stick them all in top loaders afterwards. We'll just put them in the sleeves for now. The next card in this deck is the Azure Eyes Silver Dragon. A synchro monster. So you can see that. That's pretty pretty decent. Nice art on the card. Again, obviously fresh. Straight out the packet. Don't want to handle these too much. Want to keep them nice and mint. So let's go ahead and chuck him in the sleeve. There we go. I will be sending some of these cards off as well. I'm going to get these PSA rated and sealed just for keeping in the future. So we got our two blue eyes white dragons, our winged dragon of Ra. And we got the Azurai's Silver Dragon, which is fucking awesome. Uh, the last card, last shiny, shiny card. Oh no, there's two more, okay. We've got the the Maiden with Eyes of Blue. Now this card is actually awesome for people who play the game. Uh, it reads, when this card is targeted for an attack, you can negate the attack. And if you do, change the battle position of this card. Then you can special summon one Blue Eyes White Dragon from your hand, deck, or graveyard. During either player's turn, when a card or effect is activated that targets his face-up card, except during the damage step, you can special summon one blue ice white dragon from your hand, deck, or graveyard. You can only use one maiden with eyes of blue, effect per turn, and only once that turn. Awesome. So basically, she's like blue eyes bait. You stick this card out, wait for somebody to go to attack it, out comes blue eyes. So that's pretty cool. I'm definitely, uh, if I do start to actually play again with the cards rather than just on the PS4, then that's the kind of cards that are awesome to have in the deck. Let's chuck her in a sleeve. Nice card. And then the last, I don't know, I think these base shinies were about the shiny reds. I think these are the super rare cards, right? So the last one is the Dragon Shrine. Send one dragon type monster from your deck to the graveyard, then if that monster in your graveyard is a dragon type normal monster, you can send one or more dragon type monsters from your deck to the graveyard. You can only activate one dragon shrine per turn. Hmm, interesting. Interesting indeed. So let's chuck that into his sleeve also. And we're not going to put the rest in the sleeve, but... We can definitely take a look at what's in the rest of this deck. So we've got uh, Rabbit Dragon, which is pretty strong actually. It's got 2950 attack, 2900 uh, defense. The Alexandrite Dragon, full star 2000 attack. That's pretty handy. We've got the Beautiful Lost Dragon, uh, Flameville Guard, 2000 defense. Rider of Stormwinds, Darkstorm Dragon. 2700 defense attack sorry to 2500 defense uh, Kaiser Glider 2400 attack 2200 defense Heratic Dragon of Tefnuit nice we got the Mirage Dragon some awesome dragon cards in this deck uh, Divine Dragon Apocrylith that's pretty cool the White Stone of Legend now this is a, another awesome card when this card is sent to the graveyard Add one blue eyes white dragon from your deck to your hand. Um, if you guys watch me play Yu-Gi-Oh on the PS4 on the channel, then you'll be familiar with this card. As this one also, Kaiba Man, you can tribute this card, special summon one blue eyes white dragon from your hand. So it's another fucking awesome card to have if you uh, use the blue eyes. We got the Herald of Creation, the Kaiser Seahorse, we got the Honest card. Uh, Shining Angels, we've got two of those, and then we go into Silver's Cry, another card that we use um, in Legacy of the Duelist. We got the Burst Stream of Destruction, Stamping Destruction, familiar with that one as well. A Wind Beat of Giant Dragon. We got a Trading Card, Cards of Consonance, Consonance, uh, White Elephant's Gift, 
One for one. The Monster Reborn card, wow. Didn't know they still made those. Uh, Dragonic Tactics, that's quite handy. Tribute two Dragon type monsters, special summon one level 8 Dragon type monster from your deck. Uh, Soul Exchange. The Swords of Revealing Light. Castle of Dragon Souls. We've got an Enemy Controller. Fiendish Chain. Kunai with Chain. Damage Condenser. Call of the Haunted. Uh, the Compulsory Evacuation Device, which is cool. And the Champions of Vigilance. So that's actually a pretty solid deck. Pretty nice, especially with that awesome blue eyes card in there, and of course the Dragon Shrine and the Maiden with the Eyes of Blue. And don't forget the Synchro card as well, the uh, Zero Eyes Silver Dragon. That's pretty awesome. So that's everything in that deck. We're going to put these just to one side, and we're going to take a look at uh, the last thing that I have for this first video of the collection of stuff for Yu Gi Oh! So let me move those to one side, and now we're going to take out a look at some more cards now I bought a Yugi's World Yugi's Legendary Decks collection set it comes with three decks and some promotional cards three of Yugi's famous decks and uh, three oh actually I think it's more than three like quite a, a, a fair pack of promotional cards so let's go ahead and open these up oh, I, I love new cards it's so cool Nice, fresh. Okay, so first up in our promo pack, we've got the Electromagnetic Turtle. Awesome, awesome card. We've got the Dark Renewal card. I like that. The Black Illusion. That's pretty cool. Uh, these are these are the cards I wanted to see. These are awesome. Uh, if you don't know what these are, guys, these are the cards from the original uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! anime series on TV. So you got Set Sail for the Kingdom, the Duelist Kingdom card, and then Glory of the King's Hand. This was actually used in the anime. Um, this was the card that Mai gave to Joey uh, so that he could win the tournament prize money. That's pretty cool really nice i love the artwork on that card we have the egyptian god card slide for the sky dragon look at that look at that beautiful card so so nice you can't use these versions of the cards in the duel uh but you know that's still fucking awesome so cool to have that card obelisk the tormentor same again another egyptian god card i love the fact that they're blue and red cards it's so cool look at that blue on the back and you probably can't see it as much on here but it's a, a darker and it doesn't have the Yu-Gi-Oh or Konami on the back it's fucking real cool the obelisk card and then the best one to last the winged dragon of Ra look at that guys look at that card it's so so awesome again yellow on the back nice and then we got a token card of Yami himself. Looks like um, Yami Yugi with the Duelist City, the Battle City um, thing on his arm there. So that's pretty cool. Nice token card. So that's our promotional cards for this set. I'll go ahead and chuck them in some sleeves in a second. Uh, let's take a look at the three decks that are included. We've got uh, one deck here with the Magician of Black Chaos on the front. We've got another silk deck with Valkyrie on the Magna Warrior, which is pretty cool. That's the one where you fuse all the Magna Warriors together. It's cool. And then we have Yugi's Legendary Exodia the Forbidden One deck, which is one I'm really excited to see what's in. Uh, obviously, it's going to have the pieces of Exodia. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at these. I want to try and keep these uh, separate so that they stay in their correct deck pile so we're going to go ahead and start with the magician of black chaos deck um, not sure if that is any actual name for it but as he's on the front that's what we're going to call this bad boy so let's go ahead and open these up be very careful with these
So there it is, look at that. The Magician of Black Chaos Ritual Monster. That's a really nice card. I love the artwork on this card. This is a, the same artwork that was on the original version of this card. Real nice that is, I love that. Put that to one side. We've got the Dark Magician of Chaos. So again, it's just like, they're almost identical if you look at them. They're almost identical. Pretty cool. Dark Magician of Chaos. We've got Silent Magician level 8, which is just insane. Look how beautiful that card is. Let me see if I can get that to focus on it. Look at that, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful card. And then we've got Yugi's Dark Magician, which is another cool card. We've got Gold Sarcophagus. Wow, lots of holographics in this uh, deck. Uh, Gandora, the Dragon of Destruction. I'm just going to move these to one side. Uh, yeah, we got Gandora, Dragon of Destruction. The Silent Magician, level 4. Silent Swordsman, level 7. Silent Swordsman, level 5 and level 3. Awesome. The Dark Magician Girl, wow. I've actually ordered another copy of this card in an older set, holographic. So that's beautiful though. Love the card art. Buster Blader, another famous monster of Yugi's deck. We got the Tricky. Uh, here we go, we got Jack's Knight. And of course we got Queen's Knight. And there's King's Knight as well, so we got all the Knight cards. Uh, we got the gadgets. I think this is the deck that Yugi used when he faced Yami. Uh, don't hold me to that, but I'm pretty sure it is. So we got green gadget, we got red gadget, yellow gadget, skilled dark magician, skilled white magician. Some awesome cards in this deck. Uh, Blockman. The Marshmallow card. I hate playing against this card. Can't be destroyed. That's a awesome one. Oh, hang on. After damage calculation, if this card was attacked and was face down at the start of the damage step, the attacking player takes a thousand damage. That's its added effect, and of course, it cannot be destroyed by battle. Karibo, probably Yugi's most original monster, apart from his uh, Dark Magician, of course. Monster Reborn. The Swords of Revealing Light. Card of San Sanctity. Polarization. Dark Magic Attack, The Magicians Unite, Dedication Through Light and Darkness, I love the card art on that one. The Black Magic Ritual, which goes on, of course, with the Ritual card, Magician of Black Chaos, uh, Tricky Spell 4, Emblem of Dragon Destroyer, The Marshmallow and Glasses, Mirror Force, Magician Circle card, Shattered Axe, and Stronghold the Moving Fortress, and last but not least, we've got Miracle Restoring, and a Dark Paladin card, look at this guys. This is of course Dark Magician and Buster Blader, fused together through polarization, which is insanely cool. So that's that deck, let me just stick these all back nicely. One second before we move on to the next one. Awesome cards in that deck. That's like a real OP deck, but then I guess it's Yugi, so it's gotta be right. Stick them up there for a second. Couple more to do then guys. We're gonna go for Valkyria and the Magnum Warrior. We're gonna go through this deck now. I hope I've got enough memory on my phone for this video to keep going. Maybe I should have just stream this straight to YouTube, but never mind, let's carry on. So we take these out, and there you go, look at that, beautiful. Valkyrion, the Magnum Warrior, look at its uh, stats as well. Good attack and defense, nice. So we go ahead and stick that down there. Uh, this is Arcana's version of the Dark Magician, I really, really like this card. Uh, if you don't watch the anime, Arcana was basically like, he had the same kind of idea as Yugi, he played with a Dark Magician jet. Dark Magician 
deck, but that was a bit of a mouthful. And yeah, this was his version of Dark Magician, so cool to have that. Wow, the Dark Magician girl holographic. Different art, different art from the one we had a minute ago. That is real nice. I like that. A holographic swords of revealing light. Beautiful. Holographic mirror force card. Wow. I like I like this set, guys. We got a Buster Blader in here again. I'm gonna just flick through these real quick. So we got a Buster Blader card. Can I flip these? Uh, Arc Fiend of Guilford. We got Jack's Knight. Queen's Knight. King's Knight. We got Baphomet. Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts. That's definitely a, another one of Yugi's original cards. Right there, we got Alpha the Magnet Warrior, which is one of the cards needed to make the uh, Valkyrie, Valkyrium, whatever it's called. Beta the Magnet Warrior. And then we've got Gamma the Magnet Warrior as well. That's the three cards. Big Shield Gardner was a lot of was played a lot in the anime by Yugi. Another popular Yugi card. Uh, Kariba. Monster Reborn. The Dark Magic Curtain. Now that's a pretty strong card. You pay half your life points. Special summon one Dark Magician from your deck. You cannot summon summon other monsters to turn you activate this card. But you can set. So that's pretty cool. Could uh, save you in a tight spot. Thousand Knives. The Magic Formula card. Uh, magical Dimension, Diffusion Wave Motion, the Double Spell card, Ectoplasma, Soul Taker, the Pot of Greed, Card Destruction, the Exchange card, Monster Recovery, we got another Polarization card, Diffusion, Multiply, which would be used on Karibo. Oh, there's another famous Yugi card right there, the Magical Hearts. Uh, one of my favorite trap cards, the Magic Cylinder. I love that trap card. One of Yugi's favorite, the Spellbinding Circle. He used that a lot. Pretty much every series he used that one. Life Force Sword. Chain Destruction. Uh, Soul Rope. Tragedy, and then right at the back we got Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast, which is Gazelle the King of Mythical Beasts, and Buffermit. So we've seen this monster lots in the anime as well. So that's Yugi's second deck. Uh, so far, I don't know which one I prefer. I'd say the, the first one, but some awesome cards in these decks, guys. Awesome cards. I'll just go ahead and put these all back nicely so that I can get them in sleeves in a second. And let me know what you think about uh, the cards and, you know, the next video I do will be actually pack openings. I'm going to order a, a box of booster packs and open them up for you. But we got one more now left to do. And remember, this was just a restart of my collection, so I think this was a good starting point. And uh, I'd also be interested as well uh, if they'd done like a legendary Kyber decks because Kyber changed his deck quite a few times over the course of... The series is as well like he had the XYZ monsters and of course he's his blue eyes deck and stuff so let's take a look at this we got Exodia the Forbidden One beautiful and I think this may even be a full set in holographic so we got the right leg the left leg the right arm and the left arm guys that is fucking insane beautiful I'm just gonna go ahead and stick those to the side for now Love that, absolutely love that. We got the whole Exodia in holographic, beautiful. Um, we're gonna fly through these then, guys, just to end this video. So, we got the Black Luster Soldier. Wow, Black Luster Soldier, Envy of the Beginning. I didn't even know he was in here, that's awesome. Uh, common Dark Magician, no, never ever seen that in common. So, we got another Dark Magician. It makes sense that he's in every deck because he was in Yugi's every deck. That's three different arts that we have of the Dark Magician girl now, so that's pretty cool. 
Gaia the Fierce Knight. Summon Skull. So this must be Yugi's like original deck. I remember this very well. Curse of Dragon. Uh, so we can expect to see the Feral Imp in here at some point. Catapult Turtle. Celtic Guardian is another one. Wing Dragon Guardian of Fortress, again a, another one. And there we go, the Feral Imp. This is a huge nostalgia. <laughs> Beaver Warrior. Yuki's Griffo Monster. Ah, the Mystical Elf. Nice. Giant Soldier of Stone. Mammoth Graveyard. Karibo has been in every deck too. That's pretty pretty cool. I'm a Karibo fan. Monster Reborn. Swords of Revealing Light. Mystic Box. The Brain Control Spell Card. Now, I remember when these were called Magic Cards. You know, that's time, time ago. They called them Spell Cards. Now, I remember when these were called Magic Cards. Uh, Monster Recovery. Spell Shattering Arrow. The Horn of the Unicorn. That's awesome. Uh, the Mystical Moon card. Burning Land. Multiply. Detonate. That sounds scary. With a Karibo on the front. And anyway. Muck you, the Magical Mist. I remember when he used that. That was fucking awesome. I, I think that's the card that he used. And like, obviously in the first... Duelist Kingdom series, uh, it kind of made it up as it goes along in terms of the rules, but <laughs> um, I think, didn't he like drench the Great Moth in the mist and then Summon Skull kind of like turned it into a fucking deep fried it with electric shock, something like that. Polarization, the Black Luster Ritual, nice, another Mirror Force, the Magical Hats, the Eye of the Truth. Shift. And the last card is Gaia the Dragon Champion. So that is three awesome decks. Definitely Yugi all over them. They've done really well putting that together. And now they are ours to keep. So I'm super happy about that. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please hit the thumbs up button if you have enjoyed it and you want to see me do more Yu Gi Oh videos. Um, let me get this up here like this. That'll do. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. And, like I said, like, subscribe. I'll see you soon. Cheers.